So you see, if you keep the steel inside, it's not going to ignite anything, only... That was a few seconds of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Hi, this is Vince from the UK Blade Show, and today we're going to be shooting with Constantinos of Nuco Knives. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to be doing a Santoku, and to start with, we're actually going to be forge welding it from raw steel. So we're going to have three different types that we're going to use. Uh, we have some raw iron right at the edges of, of each side, uh, 80 CRV2 in the middle and some pure nickel as well. So we're going to put that in what Constantinos calls as a sacrificial uh, furnace because of all the borax falling left, right and center. And if you actually watch the video all the way until the end, he's going to show you what it looks like when it's properly forged welded together. So make sure you stay until the end. Then we're going to start squashing it vertically to make it smooth and then we're going to chop it in pieces. squashing them together the wrought iron will spread out faster than the core. This is something to keep in mind because it can cause delaminations later down the line. What I'm going to 
be doing now is I'm going to grind away uh, all the, um, the profile and that it can show us the transitions between the different materials and if we can't see any lines then we're 100% sure that we have forged well in the billet. So you can also see, I don't know if you can spot it, but there is a little blue hue on the exposed steel. Can you see the blue hue? It's a oh, there you go, yeah. yeah. So this is around 300 to 400 degrees. So we have a really nice weld that has happened all around. Um, I'm going to make a plan now. Uh, how much of that material I'm going to be using. Get it hot, cut it with a hot chisel in the power hammer, and then start forging out that blade. Go and check out Constantino's website. Links are in the description below. Click the link from our sponsors as well because they support us in making more videos like this. And the most important thing, support your local knife maker. Hey.